All right, Shalom, Yashallah, peace, Israel. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akkad Kadash, double honor to our apostles and elders of, uh, of Great Millstone who rule well and who has taught us this truth. And also, peace and salutation to the whole for the leg out here laboring truth and sincerity on the four corners of the earth, understand it in the banner of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akkad Kadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father who the world is when he calls God. Bahashem is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the Lord, the, the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right, our Lord and Savior, the Savior of Yahshua Allah, which in the Hebrew is Israel. All right, um, uh, uh, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but once again, his true name is Yahweh Shai. All right, Bahashim, once again, is in the name. Waka Kodash, Waka means spirit, Kodash means holy. So, in the name of the Holy Spirit, and that was said in the Lashwan Kodash, uh, the holy tongue, which is the Paleo Hebrew. And that word Paleo goes back to ancient. So, it's the ancient Hebrew, the language of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, this is the brother Karab here from the GMS Boston camp. I just want to touch on a quick lesson and those what that this lesson is edifying. And this lesson is going to be revolved around or basically the topic is going to be about how America is a prison for the Israelites. All right. So you have you have Israelites scattered across the four corners of the earth. But anywhere that they are, they're in captivity because uh, of the curses. The curses uh, stated that we was going to be a. Uh, 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 go uh, under our enemies, all right? We're going to be oppressed by our enemies, which I'm going to bring out, which you see I have it here, all right? But America primarily was that main place that we was going to, uh, when I say we, I'm talking about so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native, and Seminole Indians was going to come to the serve out uh, 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 captivity because of what? Because of what our uh, forefathers, uh, 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 you know, uh, what we have done, all right? Which was to transgress the law, statutes, commandments, all right, of the how about Shemia was shot. All right, so this was a punishment, and our punishment was was that we was gonna get carried away into captivity. All right, and that's why uh, 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 you have it right here, which I'm gonna grab this Deuteronomy 28 and 15, and it reads, "But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe to do all His commandments and His statutes which I command thee this day, to." That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And this is Moses speaking to the children of Israel. All right. When Moses had received the, uh, 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 the you know, the, 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 the law, statute, commandments that was written on the tablets. All right. This is what this is what he uh, proclaimed. And he was delivering the message uh, uh, from the uh, from the heavenly father to the children of Israel. All right. The state what? That we should keep the law, statute, commandments. And if we do, if we do keep the law, statute, commandments, we was gonna we was gonna progress, we was gonna be exalted as a great nation because the Lord said that we are his chosen people. But if we disobeyed and go uh, against his law, statute, commandments, that we was gonna go uh, under these curses, all right? And that's why I said that it shall come up the, the these and all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right, which means these curses was gonna cleave unto us, all right. So now jumping down to verse 68. All right. And it says, And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way, by the way of, by the way whereof I spake unto, unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there shall, there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. All right. So just think about it. This is Moses speaking to the children of Israel, literally after it was delivered out of Egypt. All right. And how did they come up out of Egypt? They walked about the land of Egypt. All right. The heavenly Father used Moses to part the Red Sea. All right. To first and foremost to bring the plagues upon Egypt. All right. And then what happened? He parted the Red Sea and they walked into the uh, into into the wilderness. All right, which was their, their their journey was going into the Promised Land. All right, so Moses is saying that you're gonna go into Egypt again by way of ships. All right, and you got to think about it. All right, what captivity uh, was used uh, uh, to 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 bring uh, 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 um, people into into uh, another land by way of ships? All right, you had you had uh, uh, the transatlantic slave trade. All right, and even even um even before that, you had the Spaniards and the uh, Portuguese, uh, 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 you know, had, was 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 uh coming over and, and and delivering uh the what was it the children of Israel as well, uh into captivity as well. All right, bringing them to the islands. All right, bringing them to the islands of the sea, which would be the West Indies. All right, and even 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 uh what you read uh what is it uh Second Ezra the thirteenth chapter. Talks about how the northern kingdom came over here. All right. 
But ultimately, it was a purpose on why they came over here because this is what we was going to uh, serve our, our punishment. All right. And it goes in to say that you're going to be sold unto your uh, bond men and bond women and no man shall buy you, which means no man's going to redeem you. No matter who who rises up to try to fight against the oppressor, they, they, it, 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 you, you're not going to you're not going to prevail. All right. You see it plenty of times. You have uh, Nat Turner. You have many different examples. You even had the uh, the Black Panther Party. You have all these different examples showing that uh, uh, no matter how how much uh, or what way that we, they try to fight against the oppressor, we're still oppressed. We're still in this captivity to this day. We still haven't progressed or, 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 or prevailed against our enemy. All right. Why? Because ultimately, this is the purpose of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. That's what it said that he was going to bring us into Egypt again by way of ships. All right. Now going into the next precept. To lock it. Let me get my notes. All right. Only person that's going to deliver us out of here is is Yahweh Shah. All right. Let me get uh, Micah two and ten real quick. All right. And you got to understand, like, why would this? Why would it say, "Arise ye and depart"? All right. This is Micah two and ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. All right, this place is polluted, but you got to like, once again, you got to think about it. Why would it say arise ye and, and depart for this is not your rest? A place of rest is a place where you can kick back, relax, and, 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 and like, the, like the scriptures say, enjoy the fruits of your labor. All right, this is a place where you can uh, enjoy your life. But see, it says this is not your rest. This place is not set up to be our rest. All right, why? Because it's a captivity. All right, you having a social security card proves that. Uh, 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 all right, because th that's a, that's a number uh, going back and tracking who you are. All right, they, they keeping tabs on you. All right, all right. So going into my next precept, going into Baruch. Cause Baruch lays it out. Um, let's see, let's see. What was it? Two and twenty-eight. Yep. To lock it, bear with me. Baruch 2 and 28. And it reads, As thou spakest, spakest by the servant Moses, once again, that's what we was reading in Deuteronomy, all right, 28. It says, As thou spakest by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write the laws before the children of Israel, saying, If you will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations. All right, where I will scatter them, and this is the heavenly Father speaking. All right, the heavenly Father said that if we not hearken, well, He was going to turn us into a small nation amongst the heathen. All right, and it says, verse thirty: For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people, and ain't nobody more hard-headed and stiff-necked than the children of Israel. All right, plenty of times uh, uh, the heavenly Father had delivered us out of captivity, and guess what? Uh, we uh, we went off. All right, we'll go off and and, and, go and commit, uh, you know, transgress the law, statutes, and commandments again, and then, and then get thrown back into captivity. And the Lord will bring us back out of captivity and do, and it just happened the same scenario. It's all throughout the scriptures. All right, and it says, "For I knew that they would not would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves." So right now in this day and age. All right, primarily America, but also across the four corners of the earth where our, 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 the children of Israel is, is, is led captives. All right. Hey, that, that's showing you that we're going to remember ourselves. And who's that pertaining unto? That's pertaining unto the elect. All right. The elect is the ones that's going to remember themselves and they're going to repent and get right and turn back to Yahweh Bashim El Shah and acknowledge their offenses. All right. Verse 31, and shall know that I am the Lord, their power, and I will give them a heart and ears to hear. All right. That's the Lord giving them that understanding, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, pouring, upon, pouring, pouring that spirit upon them. That's uh, 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 you can get that in um, Revelation 11th chapter. Revelation 11 to 8. And it says, and after three days and a half, the spirit of Osalaka, oh, Revelation 11 and 8, and their dead bodies shall lie in the streets. Of the great city, which which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. All right, and it's it's not talking about physically dead, but spiritually dead. We didn't know who we were. All right, Jeremiah seventeen and four said we was going to discontinue from our heritage. This is a place where we was calling ourselves black. All right, everything but the children of Israel. 
calling call, call, call uh, uh, Hispanic, Spanish, Latin, all right, Chicanos, all right, uh, Indians, all right, everything but the children of Israel, who we are as a people, as a na as a nation, a nationality, all right. But then it goes down to verse eleven. It says, "And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High Yahweh entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and fear and great fear fell upon them which saw them." All right. And that's the times that we're in today. This is what's happening now. All right. Scripture in Matthew 24 says what? Those words shall be preached across the four corners of the earth and then shall the end come. All right. So these are the times where this truth is, 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 is resonating with our spirits and we're being brought back into remembrance of who we are, who we were. All right. And we're turning back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's that spirit of life. And this is why he said what? Verse 31 again. And shall know that I am the Lord. And their Lord, their power, and for I will give them in heart and ears to hear. All right, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Is not the name of the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son being pushed across the four corners of the earth? All right, is there not videos going up day to day? All right, declaring a uh, uh, prophecy, pushing out prophecies, and also uh, 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 declaring the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Is not the children of Israel turning back and seeking the Lord and repenting? All right, which ultimately the elect, I should say. All right. And it says in verse 33, and it says, And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the ways of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. All right. And it says, verse 30, 34, And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it. And I will increase them and they shall not be diminished. All right. And that's beautiful. All right. Because ultimately, once again, the same one that brought us into captivity is the same one that the put the, put us in captivity, which is the heavenly father, is the same one that's going to deliver us out of captivity by way of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, our Lord and Savior. All right. And it says, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power and they shall be my people. And I will no more drive my people of Israel. Out of the land that I have given them So this is the end story Once our time is served here Alright Well guess what You know the elect Primarily because this is who it's meant for The elect is going to be called up Into them chariots And then the Lord is going to return us back into our land The land which the heavenly father had promised Unto our forefather Abraham, Isaac and Jacob Alright Something that we can call our own all right, nothing like, like, like what we have here Which is temporary Because Jake thinks they, they can buy a house all right, and they can own a few cars that they 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 have something here. All right, but the scripture stated that Esau was gonna uh, have the fatness of the earth. All right, look at the difference. All right, but until the Lord plead our cause and we and we and we turn back to Yahweh Bashim Shah and keep praising Him and keep hastening in, in His coming. All right, and He delivers us. That's when we're gonna have everything back. All right, let's go to Baruch three. And it reads, Baruch 3 and 4, O Lord Almighty, thou power of Israel, hear now the prayers of the dead Israelites and of their children, which have sinned before thee. Once again, we sinned against our power, so now we're serving out a punishment. All right? But ultimately, this punishment ain't going to be for too long because, uh, as you see, we're at the end of an age. Uh, uh, Second Ezra 6 and, uh, 6 and 9, but Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. And we're at the end of Esau's rulership. All right? Just a few more prophecies to go, all right, and then we out of here, all right. And, uh, Lord's will we endure. And it says, um, and their children which have sinned before thee and not hearken unto the voice of thee, their power for which cause these plagues cleave unto us. No curses, right? Verse five. Remember not the iniquities of our forefathers, but think upon thy power and thy name now at this time. For thou art the Lord and our power. In thee, O Lord, will we praise For this cause Thou hast put thy fear in our hearts To the intent that we shall call upon thy name And praise thee in our captivity Alright, this was ultimately set uh, We was put here to, to, uh, to learn a lesson To learn to never want to do what we did before To, to learn to never go off Alright, to, to understand what being uh, Wicked is and what the punishment Of it is, alright so, 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 so moving forward, we can put out, uh, like the scripture says, uh, rehearse the righteous acts, all right? We're going to try to do the best of our ability to serve Yahweh Shem Yahshua and to please him, 
All right. But we have to learn the lesson. The lesson is what we done was wrong. All right. But see, you have two thirds of Jake. They don't even they don't even consider it. All right. Hence why if you liken it unto an actual prison, you have a thing which call which is called good time. All right. Uh, uh, which which it, it, it decreases or take away time that, uh, that you have to serve. All right. So if you get a, a sentence. All right. And you and you do well in jail and you don't and you don't uh, 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 and well in prison and you don't get into uh, fights and get into these situations. Guess what? It all counts to good time. All right. And that's what the elect is receiving. All right. Because what the scripture said that the, uh, the days are cut short for the elect's sake. All right. But for two thirds, guess what? They're going to they're going to receive the death penalty. All right. Which is to be utterly burnt with fire and to receive judgment from Yahweh Bashim El Shah because they didn't acknowledge Yahweh Bashim El Shah. They didn't accept their wrongdoing. All right. And it says, um, to the intent that we should call upon thy name and praise thee in our captivity. For we have called to mind all the iniquities of our forefathers that have sinned before thee. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. And why would it say we are yet this day in our captivity? All right. Because we haven't we haven't uh, left yet. All right. We haven't left this, uh, our captivity yet. Jake think because they can get out of uh, get out of America and go to a different place that they're gonna be free and no that's not what happens because no matter where you are on on, on this earth on this planet, all right the curse is still on you, all right you can't run from your how about Shimon Shah, all right you gonna think that you can just get away from the curses uh, 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 uh sidestep the curses no that's not what happened, all right that's why we're in the conditions that we are in today all right can't elevate can't 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 progress. And even if Jake progress or try to progress, they have they sell they sell out to Esau Edom, which still they still captives. All right, they still just high paid slaves. All right. And it says, uh, "Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach, a curse, and to be subject to payments." And that's one thing that 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 that, that you know, every every Israelite has to deal with. We are subjected unto payments. All right, we have pockets full of holes. All right. You get some money today, that same money that you get, you might get a paycheck today, that same money that you get is gone today. All right? And why is that? Because we are subject unto payments. We have taxes to pay. Before we can even get uh, uh, get our paychecks, the uh, Esau Edom's hand is in our pocket. All right? He's taking out what he wants or, 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 or taking uh, what, what he wants. All right? Before we get the chance to see what we get. All right? That's, cap that's being a captive. All right? Whoever's in rulership... Tax the people That's showing you Who's in power And who's subject uh, To that power By way of Who's paying the taxes Alright It says And to be subject Unto payments According to all the iniquities Of our fathers Which departed from the Lord Our power Alright Let me get another precept uh, Let me see Let me see real quick Bear with me Um Let me see. Let me see real quick. I think I have another precept. I think it's in the book of. Oh, uh, bear with me real quick. Here you go. Baruch 4 and 6. It said, You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. All right. It was we wasn't sold to, to these nations. We wasn't brought into captivity for our destruction. All right. But because he moved Yahweh about Shemal Shah to wrath, you were delivered unto your enemies. All right. So he didn't bring us over here because uh he wanted to get rid of us. He loves us. He said that we are his chosen people, we are his, a special people unto himself. He said, I will, choo I will choose Jacob. and uh, He said, I will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel. All right, Isaiah 14 and 1. All right. And look at that. It says, but he said, but ye move the most high. Yahweh Bashim al to wrath. Ye were delivered unto your enemies. All right. And it says, continue on. It says, for ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the most high. Ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up. And ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. All right. So see that? That's that's because of the the, the acts that we did, the wicked acts that we did, uh, pertaining unto breaking the law, statute, of commandments, transgressing the laws. All right. But hey, man, now we're in this time period, 
Let's get Isaiah 51. All right, Apostle Tahar coined this year what? Hasten the coming. Hasten the coming day of our Lord. Yahweh Shem El Rashad. And this is all we ought to do. All right, let me get Isaiah 51. What is it, 17? 14. In 14, it says, The captive exiled, hasten that he may be loosened. All right, and we was exiled. All right. We was exiled out of the, our land, all right? Israel, this our land, the promised land, all right? It says, the captive exile hasten it that he may be loosened. And this is why we're praying that Yahweh Bashim shall come back soon. All right, we pray that he come back today, right at this very moment, all right? But we understand that things has to take place. Prophecy has to be fulfilled, all right? But we hasten it, all right? The captive exile Hasten it that he may be loose, that he shall not die in the pit, which is here in America, this wicked system. All right. Then it says, nor that his bread should fail. All right. Look at that, man. We we supposed to we supposed to pray to get the hell up out of here. All right. And why is that? Because we're captives here. All right. If you was if 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 you 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 once again, Micah two and ten said, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. This place is is is, is gonna be destroyed, man. All right, and with this place about to be destroyed, why would you want to even uh, get comfortable here? All right, let me see what else I got. Uh, I'm gonna end it off on this limitations because this is ultimately, ultimately what 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 um what's gonna happen? Limitation four and twenty one. It says, "Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz." All right, it says the cup also. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunk and thou shalt make thyself naked. All right. And Edom was primarily a main enemy that brought us in over here. All right. He's the main one of the main enemies pertaining to uh, Psalms 83rd chapter that wanted to take us out. Scripture says that they wanted the children of Israel to be no more in remembrance. The name of Israel to be no more in remembrance. All right. So they wanted to wipe us out. All right, but guess what? Esau, that cup is going to pass on, pass it through onto them because Revelation thirteen and nine says what? All right, let me get it real quick. And this goes for all the nations that led us uh, captive. It said, "If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword." Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. And that key word in there is here's the patience and the faith of the saints. All right. The Israelites, all right, the elect, all right. We have to endure this, man. Cause guess what? The Lord is gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna judge Esau, Edom. He's gonna give him a recompense. We can read that in um, uh, Joel the third chapter. So going back to Limitation four twenty one, or actually twenty two, it said, "The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom, and he will discover thy sins." All right. And that's what happens, man. That's what's going to happen. We're not going to be carried away into captivity. Only place we're going to be carried away to is back into our homeland, our promised land. All right. The land that the Heavenly Father had ordained and given, given us by way of the oath of him uh, uh, presenting or the oath that he had with Abraham unto Isaac unto Jacob, or our forefathers. All right. But Esau, Edom and, and these other nations, they're going to go into captivity and we're going to have an everlasting kingdom. All right. And we're going to be set. So this is this is about endurance. Uh, enduring. Uh, uh, um, let me grab. Let me grab one more. Let me grab one more. Uh, Micah seven and nine, and it reads, "I will bear the indignation of the Lord Yahweh Shemuel Shah because I have sinned against Him. Until He plead my cause and to execute judgment for me, He will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold His righteousness." All right, and that's beautiful, man. All right. Cause we the acknowledgement of what we did and, 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 and what we uh and, and us going off, not understanding that, give us an opportunity to make things right. And as we're making things right with the Heavenly Father, uh, through his only begotten son Yahweh Shai, we pray that Lord's will that we be able to be uh, escape the destruction to come. Alright, it's to, to, to be protected in time of Jacob's trouble and to escape the ICBM missiles, the, the, the main judgment of, of America, all right, and, and to you know to dwell in peace. Which is uh, to uh, return into uh, uh, our land uh, with Yahweh Shai. All right. So with that, you know, I pray that this lesson was edifying. I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Akakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders once again of great millstone who rule one who has taught us his truth and also peace and salutation to the old for the elect. 
With that, say Shalom, Ababa Ba, and Kwam Yashar Allah.